Hi, my name is Skylar Burgle. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Urban Plains Magazine. Uh, we've got some interesting things uh, we can show you on the app and kind of share some interesting facts about what it is that actually goes into creating an all-digital, all-iPad magazine. So we use a system called Mag Plus and kind of creates a very nice aesthetic, looks really good. Uh, we can jump to any story on the cover here, so we'll jump to, let's, let's go to Tech and Taste. So loads up right here, we've got standard page, you scroll down, as you can see the text actually floats on top of the art, so we have a picture in the back and got live links here where I connected to the internet, it would be going to a website. But something we really liked about Mag Plus was this ability to kind of kill the top layer of text and be able to look at the stuff in back. So if we have really good art, which we like to think that we do, we can take, kind of showcase that. And let's jump to some, some, another one, pull up the essentially the scrubber on the bottom so we can scroll through any of the stories that we want to jump to. We can jump to this one in the front, some, one of my favorite stories, Holly Hood's about a uh, hoodie business from uh, Minneapolis. And so same thing here, and something else that we really like is when a story gets kind of long, can set up a different picture to jump up as well. So when we get a certain point in the text box, it'll be switching. Same thing, and you can just look at the art there as well. Um, something else we kind of like is this ability to lock it in a certain position. So you now we'll jump back here to one of our big, our big, one of our biggest stories uh, about Midwest micro liquors. So I jump there. You see, I get this indicator to turn it to landscape mode, and it'll be set in that. Can't really lock it in portrait, but so then we can go through this way. And this one, if we want to bring it back to portrait mode, we can do that. Something we, we did on this one that I really like is when you have the back, you get this front and back shot of the liquor bottle, which I think is really cool. Um, let's see. Tried to implement a lot of different kinds of stories. We covered a lot of stories throughout the Midwest from Detroit to Des Moines, Minneapolis, Omaha, kind of hitting every spot we could. Um, anything from food to entertainment, lifestyle stuff. This one is about a bakery chain located in Chicago that has a few different branches uh, and like a bunch of neighborhoods in Chicago. So a really interesting place is kind of focused on this punk rock aesthetic and uh, also like a very green approach to their business, which is very interesting, I think. And this one is about a bunch of young people who are working to kind of in our terms, resurrect Detroit through different philanthropic efforts and business uh, ventures as well. This is uh, something we really kind of wanted to hit on as a Midwest-focused magazine is the ability of, I guess, the Midwest metro to stand up to any of the bigger metros that people know about, like New York and Miami and Los Angeles. So, kind of did a comparison of what it's like to live there and how big it is, what the household income type of thing is. A lot of info based here. So you get down and kind of see that the cost of living in New York is obviously much higher than it is in Minneapolis. So something we really wanted to showcase and kind of put the Midwest first type of message to our content. So we just submitted our Apple Store application, so we're simply waiting on Apple to get back to us on an approval, and the app should be in the App Store for free download in the coming.